What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. I'm grateful. And if you're new here, consider clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together while we grow this channel. So guys, today, uh, let me start by saying that it's a beautiful day. It's summer. It was hot in the afternoon. It's about 4 p.m. Oh, it's almost 5 p.m. right now. And the sun is going down, the heat is going down. But earlier in the day, it was about 35 degrees and the real feel was about 42 so I stayed in mostly indoors and I'm just going out to to have a quick ride it's been raining the past few few days so it's not been ideal weather for riding but thank God the rains have cleared the Sun is out and it's a rider man's weather so I'm going to take advantage of that before maybe the rain comes back. So I'm in the outskirts of Shanghai. And along the way, you will see uh, a bit of how the outskirts looks like. I'm going to one of my favorite roads uh, for riding in, in Shanghai and uh, there are usually a lot of bikers there as well. The bike culture has really picked up in Shanghai. There are many many people riding bikes now, especially young men and it's become a thing. It's some sort of a trend now to have and ride a motorcycle. and. People are going in for high-end bikes, the Yamahas, the BMWs, Suzuki's, Hondas, and the likes. Because I think people have come to realize that uh, the initial purchase cost of these bikes is high. But once you do, for most of these bikes, maintenance cost is low. And if you don't crash or anything, you can enjoy the back bike for a very long time without worrying about minor minor problems whereas if you bought a cheaper bike yes you buy cheap but you spend a lot of time and money uh, fixing is uh, fixing it as well so uh, it looks like a, an expensive bike is the way to go if you can afford it but the major thing that I want to talk about on this ride is number of plates for motorcycles in Shanghai so there are two main numbers for motorcycles above 150 cc so there's a C plate and there's the A plate the A plate is the one that allows you to ride anywhere in Shanghai and even downtown and the C plate still allows you to ride in Shanghai but you can go to the A zone so that's the CBD the A zone area the real downtown area of Shanghai but it allows you to ride around the, uh, the CBD area the various districts around the city but you can go downtown that's the disadvantage of the C plate um, these restrictions are I don't know 100% why these restrictions are but they are there and so if you're planning to come to China and get a motorcycle it's not like that in every city but in Shanghai these are the rules that apply so my bike for instance which has a C plate I can't go downtown on this motorcycle if I go downtown I get captured by the cameras I get points deducted of my I'm not sure but I'll definitely get a penalty on my license and maybe get a fine. It's usually not that much, but if you keep losing points, then you're going to lose your license. So, yeah, you better not do it. But if you have the A plate, then yeah, you can go anywhere uh, downtown Shanghai. But 
whether you have the A plate or the C plate, you cannot ride your motorcycle on the elevated roads. And in some provinces, I've heard that if you're traveling from city to city, you can travel on the highways on your motorcycle. But in Shanghai, you can get on the elevated roads and you can get on the on the highways. So that's one thing to note of, to take note of. Now coming to the prices of the plates, someone might ask. Well, it might sound like I'm lying, but this is the truth. Motorcycle number plates in Shanghai are very, very expensive. So let me just say this. The C plate, which does not allow you to go to the CBD or downtown area, costs about right now it's a supply and demand thing it costs about a little over 90,000 RMB or 90,000 Chinese Yuan which if I put in dollars 90,000 RMB is about uh, let me do the math it's almost $12,000 if I'm not mistaken I'll check it later the current rate and put it uh, in this video on the screen it's about twelve thousand dollars for the number plate for a motorcycle that can't even go downtown and for the a plates which you can ride anywhere in this in, in shanghai and also in the city center the last time i heard it was about three hundred and at least three hundred and fifty thousand rmb or three hundred and fifty thousand yuan whichever you are familiar whichever of the currency names you are familiar with and 350,000 yuan by my calculation it's about if I'm not mistaken is about $50,000 and I'm not kidding guys um, if anyone doubts me you can look it up and you can verify it's about $50,000 for a motorcycle number plate that allows you to go anywhere in Shanghai including downtown and it's ridiculous these are amounts that can buy brand new cars and even SUVs and that's how much money you spend just to buy the number plate and this is minus the cost of the bike so riding a motorcycle in Shanghai it's not a plug and play thing it is not easy I was lucky when I bought my number plate uh, for my Benelli at the time when I bought it initially for my Benelli uh, 300 it was around 25,000 RMB about 25 percent of what it is now so number plates in Shanghai for motorcycles are very very expensive there is the blue plate so what I've just described is the yellow plate there's a blue plate for motorcycles or scooters that are under 150 cc's and those are a little cheaper I haven't checked the rates for that they are usually uh, not that expensive quite cheap but for bigger cc's and bigger motorcycles you you need a C plate and these are the C plate prices I've, or, or, I've just given you and like I said this is the truth if anyone doubts me you can verify but this is this is what it is and let me quickly add that if you have a number plate from another province or another city uh, registered uh, from another city in China uh, you can only ride it in Shanghai on roads so intercity roads or interprovincial roads uh, and the logic is you're traveling through the city so you don't get a penalty for that but if you're riding on inner roads in the city and you get caught you'll be fined as well so if you have an out of plate out of shanghai plate and you're riding it in within the city you will get a ticket uh, so there's no way to outsmart the system you can go and register a bike cheaply somewhere else and come and ride it comfortably here it's not possible if you get caught which the cameras will or if a policeman stops you you're gonna pay for it and get get points deducted or you might even get your bike seized and all that so so that's what it is 
Now let me go ahead and talk about why the prices are so expensive. Why number plate prices for motorcycles are so expensive. So uh, just like the city controls the number of cars on the roads, they have all these restrictions and measures uh, updated all the time for cars. They have these restrictions for motorcycles as well. And the reason the plates are so expensive now is the city is no more issuing um, motorcycle license plates. And so it's a supply and demand thing. The plates that are already in existence are the ones that are circulating and a lot more people are buying motorcycles. The bike culture is growing. So it's become a supply and demand thing. And uh, especially in the summer when people, spring and summer when people update their bikes or they, they buy new bikes, the prices shoot up. But even in the winter, it doesn't drop that much. It just increases a little by a little bit in, in summer. So summer is a good time if you want to sell your motorcycle plate here. But yeah, that's it. The city is not offering new number plates. So it's the old ones that are in circulation. Uh, so even if you have the money, sometimes it can be hard to get unless you find someone who's ready or willing to sell their plate um, you might have to wait a long time to get a number plate so if you are in china or you're coming to china uh, for any reason and you think you will stay longer and you're thinking of joining the riding community in china in shanghai to be specific um, this is something good to know so that if you can you get prepared before you get here so that you don't get surprised this is what it is. This is where number plate prices are in Shanghai. How, how is the number plate situation in the place where you live? Wherever you are, please let us know in the comment section what the number plate situation is. I know in some places you buy the bike and it comes with a number plate. It's almost free. And in some places you buy them separately, but the number plate is not that expensive. So what is your situation? Could you let us know? Let us share ideas. Um, on this topic about motorcycle number plates All right guys, so this is the end of this video I hope you enjoy this ride with me and I hope that this piece of information that I offered here is helpful to someone out there But like I said, let us share ideas Let us share ideas on the number plate situation from different places around the world So thank you so much for coming with me on this ride guys. I hope you found this video useful If you did give it a thumbs up and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can grow together little by little every day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. So I see you in the next video. Always ride legal, ride safe. Peace.